Well, hello there. Good day. This is Joe Van Cleve, and welcome to another episode of the Typewriter video series. Today, I want to talk about lap typing. That is, typing with typewriters on your lap instead of on a table, desk, tray table, or whatever. Uh, this uh, subject was brought to my mind by uh, an observation I made last week. Uh, when I was using this brother-made Webster XL747 typewriter in my patio room on a um, kind of a reclining lounge style chair. Um, now if you're if you're sitting in a more upright position like this this kind of chair here, oftentimes you'll notice that your lap surface is slightly sloping away from you. So when you put the typewriter down it might have a tendency as you're trying to type to kind of want to slide away from you as you're typing. But I discovered on this um, patio chair that it elevated my knees so they were slightly higher than my hips and it made it so that the typewriter had this tendency to stay in place as I was pushing on, on the keys. But unlike this kind of a seating position where it's more upright, if I cross my legs to make a, my lap a little more sloping toward me to secure the typewriter better, then my hands, my arms are kind of cramped. I have to kind of bend my elbows a little bit and I, I don't really have a good position with my fingers because this typewriter requires a little bit more finger force to get a good imprint than on some of the other machines. But when I sat on this reclining chair, um, it lowered uh, my hips, raised my knees, and I could, and also because the back position is reclining back slightly, I could extend my arms more, and it was a really comfortable position to sit in because it's a lounge chair, but also very comfortable to type in, surprisingly comfortable. So we're going to talk just a little bit today about lap typing. So stick with us. Okay, so when you're considering going out and typing on your lap without a table or desk kind of a surface, one of the things you're going to have to consider is the bottom of the typewriter because you're setting the typewriter right on your clothes and many of the typewriters have um, the underside of them are open and if you have that kind of a typewriter you'll find that you might be interfering, your clothes might be interfering with the linkages underneath the machine and or you might get grease or oil on your pants, right? When you're when you're using it that way. If you have an ultra portable or kind of a typewriter with a with a intrinsic bottom plate that covers it, you're already set, no problem. But many of the let's say medium sized uh, portables that come in the hard cases, you'll find those like the Smith Coronas and things like that, uh, Underwoods. The underneath side of the machine is open, and so in that case, I would recommend keeping the machine locked into the bottom half of the case, remove the top half of the case, and set the typewriter on your lap in its bottom case. Um, another small typewriter that in my collection that has that issue is the little Corona 4. The old Corona 4 is the same way. The underneath side of the machine is exposed and the linkages are very close to where the feet are. Again, you don't want to set it on your lap, so use the bottom of the case if it's that kind of a typewriter. Otherwise, use this kind of a, media, uh, a small portable with, it, with its own base. So that was the Webster 747 on the upright style standard chair. Now I'm sitting on a garden patio lawn chair. This is one of these inexpensive molded plastic kinds. With a, with a padded cushion added to it. And so I have a more of a reclining seat back position. My knees are slightly elevated above my hips. And so when I put the typewriter in my lap, there's a natural tendency for it to stay put. And even when I uh, sling the typewriter carriage back and forth, um, the typewriter is very stable. Now this is the uh, Hermes 3000, what I call the Naked Writer. And uh, it has a rubber pad glued to the bottom of the wooden base, but it has a really nice feel to it. Now, it's obviously a heavier setup than this lightweight portable, but the weight is very comforting on my legs. And with this particular seating position, my elbows are touching the armrests, so the weight of my arms is being supported. I don't have to hold the weight of my arms up. And it positions my wrists and fingers 
in just the perfect position for touch typing. It really is amazingly comfortable. I, I'm just amazed that I never discovered this before, this uh, lap typing like this, especially with a reclining chair. So it's funny because if you go back into um, a lot of the photographs that we have online that are a record of famous writers and their typewriters from the mid 20th century, there's a whole bunch of pictures, right, of, of famous writers and their typewriters. You hardly ever see them in this kind of a seating position. It's almost always at an upright table or a desk. Sometimes it's on a couch. Sometimes it's, you know, laying on the floor or something. But you rarely see this kind of a position, which kind of surprises me. It really is comfortable. Um, and the other thing is, I find the difference in comfort between sitting in an upright, straight back chair at a desk with a typewriter and this is that that upright position is kind of like work. It's not comfortable to sit at, not really. Um, it, so it, it is a work-like position. But this kind of a seating position, this feels, just without the typewriter, just sitting in a reclining chair like this, it feels like leisure. It feels like comfort. And then when you have the comforting weight of the typewriter on your forelegs in a absolutely perfect position for for good ergonomic typing it is a different typing experience it really is freeing uh, I did some great stream of consciousness typing sessions last week with the with the Webster typewriter in this kind of a posture and it was amazing how much better it was uh, creatively at freeing your mind to type because as you know, with a manual typewriter, you can stop at any moment, even in the middle of a word, you can stop and think, and then go back to it. And when you're thinking, pausing to reflect, you are comfortable. You're, you're, you're just in a relaxed posture. Um, so it's really relaxed typing at, at its best. Um, so another thing about lap typing I wanted to mention is this idea that when we go out with our typewriters away from home with a portable typewriter. First of all, think about portable typewriters this way. Uh, portable typewriters are portable because <laughs> they're intended to be taken somewhere. If you have a giant, massive, full, upright style typewriter, you might as well have a PC with a, with a big old box, right? A beige box in the sense of not being portable. You know, we still like typewriters for their, for what they offer over computers, right? But you would be hard-pressed to take a full-size upright typewriter out somewhere. But a portable typewriter, either truly an ultra-portable like this, or a semi-portable like these uh, Hermes 3000 series and all the other kinds that are out there, they're, they're portable for a reason. They're meant to be taken somewhere. So you can take them out of the house, but you can't take your desk. Now, a lot of us who have done public typing, we find ourselves gravitating to places like coffee shops and things like that because they have seating areas with tables and you can put your typewriter on the table, right? But think about lap typing now. It frees you from the necessity to find a table. You're no longer needing a table. You, your table is your lap. Anywhere you can find a place to sit down, your, your table is formed in front of you. And you could do that at a at a, a park bench, a bus stop bench, any kind of a seating area that's out in public, you can sit down and make it a work surface. Now, as I indicated earlier, uh, some of these seating positions are better suited to typing than others. This kind of a reclining position is ideal. You might find with a more upright seating position, you might find the typewriter is sloping away from you and you're going to have to be a little bit more careful, maybe raising your feet up a little bit more like that to keep it more secure. But this position is beautiful. And I'm really surprised I never discovered it before. But it really frees up your mind to do stream of consciousness and more creative kind of writing because you're in a relaxed position. Your body is relaxed. Uh, it's leisurely. So I would encourage you this week, if you have the opportunity, try some lap typing. Find yourself a nice, low seated position, reclining lounge kind of a chair, and enjoy the experience of using your typewriter in a leisurely, creative fashion. This is Joe Van Cleve. 
You have yourself a great day.